Christian Prince. I mean, you you die laughing when you hear those people. And they are very convincing, by the way. I mean, they are super intelligent. I, I don't know for some reason. The second you 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 know you you join this religion, you lose your mind and you lose your intellect. And look, half of his video is advertising for money. Prince. Is grand prize BMW for Christian Prince. Hi, Christian Prince. I will give you uh, the BMW car as a reward if you can answer every question as follow. Mm. First, uh -huh. show me the first in the Bible that tells Jesus is a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what the heck is that? What the heck? Show me a verse in the Bible that Jesus is a Christian. <laughs> no comment. Christian Prince. Show me the verse in the Bible. It shows that Jesus is a Christian. I would give you five BMW. Like, what the heck? And this is the first question. What is the second question? You won't find any. Are you sure? <laughs> it's because the name of Christian uh -huh. emerged for the first time in Antioch long after Jesus died Ooh. and those who gave a name of Christian were Barnabas and Paul the stupid idiot so Allah he called the Christian Christian he learned from Barnabas and Paul <laughs> it turned to be that Allah when he learned that our name is a Christian he took it from Paul I mean, do you see even Paul is educating Allah? How Allah, he got the name a Christian too. If Paul is the one who called us Christian, why the stupid Allah is taking the name of a Christian from Paul? I mean, where those people are coming from? You see, you see like, sometimes you wonder, I mean, this God, he created this guy? Yes, God, he created this guy. I think God, he created those people for a reason, to show you the difference between stupid and intelligent. I don't see any other purpose. Did this guy, he forget that his Quran says the Christians? So if this is name coming from Paul, his God, he used the same name. That's mean Allah, he's learning about us from Paul. I know, I know he's already dead. He did. He died because of the heart attack I gave him. Did you watch my videos? He became the joke of every Muslim in Indonesia. And look at the title. Christian Prince Debate Hadith. Five unit mobile BMW Dari Ustaz Insan Maga uh, Monko Monko Jinta. I like Monk on Jinta. You know what? All my life I wanted to have Monk Jinta. What Monk Jinta mean? Anybody knows what Monk Jinta mean? What Monk Jinta? Is that like a monkey something? Is that his name? Last name? Is it part of the last name or? Oh, this is his last name. Oh, I thought it's a word means something. Okay. Forget it then. I thought he is challenging me with Monka Jetta or something. Like I give you Monka Jetta uh, in the top of the BMW. And you know, five BMW, look how generous they are. Like every five questions, five BMW. Guys, do you know how rich I am now? Each Muslim, I get him busted. I get a BMW. Okay, I get it. So his right name is Moko Jinta. What Moko Jinta mean? 
By the way, I love this. I, I really like the, the especially the Quran in the Indonesian language. It's fun. I mean, this guy, he have a lot of questions and nobody can answer, brother. They are so powerful. 26. Christian Prince, mm. if you find in the Bible that Jesus is a Christian, a new serious BMW will be yours. I mean, do you see my luck? This is what happened to my friend. He had a very bad luck. We were invited to an airline party and everyone will attend. He will win an airline ticket with vacation. Everyone, it's a must. The guy, he said to me, I will not go. I know my luck. Come on. I said, listen, they said everyone who attend, he will get an airline. Doesn't matter. That's not about luck. There's no luck here. Zero, zero luck option because you will get an airline ticket. It's a promise. Just attend. The guy, he agreed to go. And guess what? He was right. He got an airline ticket to Afghanistan. The one who got airline ticket to Hawaii, the other one he get to Honolulu, Bululu. The other guy he went to to Rome. That and my friend, he called his name. He was so happy. Finally, it's happening. Oh, I got an airline ticket. I can't believe you. Thank you for inviting me. He went. He grabbed the ticket. He got a ticket for Afghanistan. By the way, this is a false story. I just a joke. I made it because now they will say Sahir Bukhari, Hadith number Christian Prince. He said Sahir Bukhari. Blah 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 blah. This is a true story. It's my you know. <laughs> so this is the luck this is my luck he asked me a question to win a BMW if I can find him a verse saying that Christ is a Christian shall we do the same and ask you to find us Muhammad is a Muhammadan <laughs> uh, <clears throat> in San, can you find me one verse in the Quran saying that Muhammad is Muhammadan. Oh, don't remind me about this. In the in the Indonesian Quran, everything ends with an. Anything. You name it. If you click here to Indonesian uh, language, that's why I like it, actually. I want to go to Indonesia, but you know, like uh, I will find like maybe a million Indonesian Muslim waiting for me in the airport. Takbir, Christian Prince is here. What is the Indonesian language? Indonesian, okay. Bahasa. Look. Are you orange, orange? But wherever you go, you see orange, orange. Unbelievable. I mean, the Indonesian people for sure, they love orange a lot. So orange, orange, Abi, Abi Bayalal, Kalamu, Man, God, 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 See, I told you, it end with an. In the sun, an an. Okay. Brima ki kararan. Rahisa jaga laha kamu member kara kan. Kan. Tata ang. Member boot dusa dusa harahut. Dan barakut kara ku rasul kabadadut. Dan. Barkisha Shakuta Tantang Merbar Bambakajan Danta Waktakwawa Shishu Hawawa Shiwawa. Guys, be honest with me. Isn't it my Indonesian is perfect? Actually, I've been offered this is between us, by the way. Uh, some Indonesian friends here, as you know, they are admins here. They offer me a job to teach Indonesian language in the highest school in Indonesia. Hmm? And because my knowledge is so good in the language, you know, I told them if I teach there, they have to agree. I have to add new words. <laughs> I cannot just teach a language like this. I have to create a new words. As an example, donkey, potato, stupid, hummus. Those have to be added if I'm going to teach the Quran. It's a must. And not to forget, are you sure? If they agree, we'll go for it. 
Prophet M, what, what, what are you saying to me in Indonesia? Are you calling me names now? Do you think I don't speak Indonesian? Huh? I am like Al Hussein. I speak 70 million languages. I don't like to talk about myself much because I'm very humble. Guys, do you remember what yesterday we were talking about? Who remember yesterday? What is the name of uh, Ali? <laughs> Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Actually, I would like to learn. Guys, if I if I learn Indonesian and I open a channel in Indonesian language, I am sure my channel will have a million subscribers in less than a month. If you go to channels in Indonesian language, post in my videos, you will see the video have a million, a million and a half, 900,000, 700,000. Oh, oh boy, I should learn it. I need to find a teacher to teach me. And did I say I need to find a teacher to teach me? I did not talk about, I'm not talking about teach me Indonesian, by the way. No, 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 you get me wrong. I was talking about learning the language nobody speaks in Indonesia. Okay, Indonesian I speak very well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I speak Russian. Sure, I speak Russian. It's very it's easy, you know. Olga from Russia. That is Russian. Just like make it a r, r, that will make you Russian. You know? Uh, do you speak Dutch? I Dutch all Muslims here. Just ask any Muslim. Any Muslim, he'd come here, I Dutch him. And you are telling me, do you speak Dutch? It's my job. It's what I do. What's wrong with people? He come here, I Dutch him. He come here, I Dutch him. That's in the, you know, in the speed of light. Kak Osaha Kisini CP Banyak Young Inser Ranti. Now look, listen, Sarja, I can take anything from you. But to say to me, Ranti, that is not right. You are saying to me, Ranti. I mean, come on. I'm really disappointed from you. Ranti? What in the world? Should I tell your family what you just said to me? Shall I tell your friends what you just did? You know what? If you don't want me to tell everybody in YouTube and Instagram and the internet what you just said to me, you better contact me in private. Okay? Look what he said to me. Gag Osah Kisini. CP. Now CP, uh, let me translate for you CP. Okay? CP, like, you know, if you study science, you know, like because this is this is my this is my field. You know, like you know, CP. Uh, by the way, the rest I'm not going to translate because they are very easy to understand. You know, forget about Gak Osa He Sini Benyak Young Inkar Nanati. Those are easy to understand. So I'm going to focus now to explain to you and translate for you the most hard part to uh, explain, which is uh, <clears throat> uh, CP. Uh, CP mean Christian Prince, and thank you for understanding. It was very hard to just uh, translate, but I did it. So this guy is saying to you, okay, you know, okay, gag, osaha, can see CP, banyak, young. Uh, I'm young. I mean, I agree with you on this one. My mom is seventeen, actually. Means. Uh, it does mean it does not come here CP so many will target you this way it's mean that is even better I love people to target me it's for fun imagine you live and nobody target you <laughs> how boring <laughs> my friend if you think I'm worried about people targeting me oh you mean in Indonesia right uh, no I'm not going to go to Indonesia No, no. Uh, thank you for warning me. You know, if I go to Indonesia, I will, uh, I will say a secret sentence. 
before I entered the you know like the, the one you say before you enter the bathroom the prophet he said you say the prayer supplication and then you will become invisible what do you what what do you think about that and then I come to your house to visit you hmm? but I will be invisible you will not see me you will see the like the I will eat with you you will see that the uh, the fork coming up in the sky and like the your fish is gone in my mouth don't be upset I'm just eating I'm invisible okay prophet say so uh, the hori will target me that is another worry <clears throat> the horis are actually more scary than the terrorist imagine you go somewhere and there's like 40 50 women they are targeting you and they are trace chasing you that what will happen to you if like you remember the hadith about the birds who remember it when the Muslim they say to Allah for the sake of Allah please just make us a human being again and send us we don't want to be buried no more uh, if you remember the hadith we mentioned yesterday to see if we can find it hmm. look at this brother isn't it beautiful you pray to Allah you fast you kill you do jihad you call names and then Allah he will make you a green bird brother isn't it this is the dream of every one of us Just be honest. I know, I know, because you are a Christian, you cannot be honest. Especially, you don't practice taqiyya. If you practice taqiyya, brother, you will be honest. <laughs> Even the word honest, the Muslim, they have, the, they have the same words we use, but they have totally mean different meaning. The Muslim believe that Muslim, we should not lie. But then you can lie to Christians, you can lie to your wife, you can lie to your friends, you can lie to your enemy, you can lie, you can lie, you can lie, you can, but brother, you cannot lie. Allah, he hate those who lie. What happened with this hadith? I can't find it. Hold on. I'm trying to search for it. For some reason, I want to find you the full story or the big story. For some reason, this stupid thing. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So here now, all those hadiths speaking about and here Allah he will ask the the mujahideen who die for the sake of Allah he will ask them a question three time you see Allah see this funny religion they speak that they are not they are against Trinity but everything in this religion is a Trinity the God when he speak he asks question three time Muhammad he repeat even assalamu alaikum have you ever heard of somebody saying assalamu alaikum three times? I will give Muslim five BMW if he can tell me why you're a prophet. He have to repeat the answer, the question, sorry, assalamu alaikum three times. Or a sentence three times. Like if you see here, Allah, he asked the murderer who became birds. He asked them a question three times. And each time they answer him the same answer. And then they said to him, because Allah will not leave them alone, he keep asking him the same question. Look with me. It says, he asked them that question three times. And when they see that they will not be left alone without asking the same thing, they tell their Lord, they wish to go back. I want to go back. Please, Allah, I want to go back. Just let me go back. You know, Just leave us alone, Allah. You know. When you see how stupid the story, 
This God, they answer, they are, he asked the question. They answer him. He asked the same question again. They answer him. He asked the same question again. They answer him. He asked the same question again. They answer him. And then they find out that this God will not stop. He's like a dog. Ho, 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 ho. So they say to Allah, please, please, Allah, please, we want to go back. But it's like, Allah, well, you just, you just me to think, then go back, okay? They say to him, look what it says. This is what it says in front of you. And when they see that they will not be left alone. I mean, what kind of a believer he want God to leave him alone? So when they notice that Allah will not leave them alone without asking something, what an idiot, like a talking machine. Like, do you like, do you like high candies? Yeah, like, come on, just shut up. Okay, do you like a uh, uh, video game? Come, Allah, come on. I'm right now doing yoga with Sad Guru. His name is Sad, and he is Guru, and he is teaching you how to be happy. I mean, you, you get the point. You get the point there. You know the thing? Sad Guru. Like, what the heck? So if you join Sad Guru, you will learn how to be happy in life doing yoga? Go change your name first. Like, make it Happy Guru, Junkie Guru, Smart Guru, but Sad Guru? And you want to teach me how to be happy? I mean, this is Allah himself. So the sad Allah, he keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep repeating the same question. And the Muslim Abdul, they find out that Allah, he will never leave him alone. So then they start crying, saying, please Allah, let us, please, just let us return to our body, please. We want to leave, just leave. We don't, we don't want to be in heaven no more. Just leave us alone. Because in heaven, by the way, there is no cotton to put it in your ears. So you cannot avoid Allah. I mean, that's it. You put cotton, you put your shoes in your ears. Still, Allah, because his voice is powerful, you know, this is Allah. Are you kidding me? Allah, do you know how, how strong the voice of Allah is? Huh? What the heck was this? Sad Guru. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim have any comment? You want to grow me in your backyard? Mm. I hope your wife is not there. Because the same story of Adam and Christian Prince will be uh, a Christian Prince and Eve will be repeated, and he will be watching us from the video, from the from the window. I wish I can grow you in the backyard. You are so cute. Okay, you got a point there. Just be sure that your wife is not there for safety. Uh, with echo, yeah, actually, you know, in the old days, I don't know if the Muslim did still do that. Actually, yeah, you remember Mimi Hijab when he recited the Quran to uh, what his name? Borat? Not Borat, no Borat, hold on. To uh, Patterson, Patterson. Then Mimi Hijab, he read editing, he did editing to the video. And he add an echo. The Muslim they love echo. They they think if they that they uh, they had echo to the words that will make it holy. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Him him him. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Neen neen neen. As Shaitan ur Rajim. Him him him. Hello, 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 Halloween, ween, ween, ween. How are you doing, Mr. Bean, 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 Bean? <laughs> the religion of the echo. Riley Hunt, it's truly an honor to be in your life. You are welcome, my friend. But be patient with me. If I make a, a statement of your comment and you don't like it, don't be upset, okay? I'm just joking, okay? I mean, what I can do? <laughs> Allah made me like that, brother. Allah made me like you. Know, says the Muslim. You say Allah made me like that. Are you, are you sure? You know, hey Muslims, did Allah made Muhammad stupid or it was an accident? I mean, after that, hmm? like when Muhammad he said 
if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. Was that because he was born smart or because later he becomes so smart? Hmm? I mean, that's deep. What the heck? You know, I was worried that if I get married ever, my son will look like me, which is really bad. Very, very bad. You have no idea. But now, with the knowledge of the Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him, I know how to avoid such a disaster from happening again. Simply, I will never come first. I will let my wife come first. Look at the genius. How the Prophet he knew this? Hmm? And by the way, now all of you, you know what happened in the bedroom between your mother and your father. So in case you are a female, you know that your mother, she did it first. <laughs> go tell her, go tell her. And if you don't do that at home, disclaimer, don't do this at home. I'm just joking. And if you are a boy, now you know that it was your dad who screamed first. Unbelievable. Look, this, you see the knowledge, but the knowledge is powerful. Now we know what happened in the bedroom, yet we are not there. <laughs> we are not even exist yet. <laughs> this is this is genius. This is genius. So they, then how the child resemble her, huh? Come on. How the chum and the child resemble her? Isn't it obvious? Hey Tarek, what how are you doing, Mr. Tarek? Is CB is it allowed to know how old are you? For sure, my friend, I was born long, long time ago. Uh, do you have time? Sit down. I will tell you. You know, once upon the time, actually, let me do this. I will go in the front of your eyes and I will type here once upon the time what we will find here hold on Uh, which show me on in this story let us do it differently once upon the time there was a group of people who took the sea in the sea they arrived to an island I mean, if you read the story here, by the way, you would die laughing. But I will skip this part. Uh, look. They took the ocean. And the ocean tossed them. The ship have 30 men. 30 men they have sailed in the ship. There was a storm, and the storm tossed them by the wave in the ocean for a month. And then these waves took them near an island within the ocean. Island at that time of the sunset. Don't ask me what does that mean. Allah knows best. They sat in a small side boat and entered that island there was a beast with long thick hair <laughs> and because of this 
they could not distinguish his face. Wow, 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 wow. Now look, the story is a true story. The beast is covered by hair. He is very hairy. Okay? And this is where the name of Hari Botar coming from. <laughs> Harry Botar. Listen carefully. Harry Botar. Okay? Butar is the one who carry things next to the port. This guy is in the beast. He is in the port in the island. Hello? And he's very hairy. Hairy Butar. So, they could not distinguish his face. You cannot even distinguish his face from his ass. He's covered by hair everywhere. From his back. Look at this. They cannot even recognize where is the face, where is the back. They said, We to you. Who can you be? I mean, somebody speaking to the beast. And how you know that the beast he speak Arabic, huh? That's a good story. So you speak to the beast in Arabic? You must be an Arab beast. I mean, it's obvious. They are Arab. They are saying to him, Oh, you be, who could you be? You know, I'm so glad that Joe Biden was not there. Joe Biden, he will approach the beast differently. He will say to him, listen to me. We are created by the thing. You know the thing? You know, and that would be like easier, like to understand. I mean, more, I mean, the language is nicer, diplomatic, more diplomatic. And then it says here, thereupon it said, I am Al Jassas. They said, What the heck? Al Jassas. And it said, Oh, people, go to this person in the monastery. There's a monastery in the island. Take a note. There's where? The what? There's a monastery where? In the island. True story. I saw many of them in the islands all over. You know? Okay. And as he very much eager to know about you. Look like this beast has a like Wi-Fi. You know, like a walkie-talkie, you know, like the one you talk with it. So, because how how this beast knew that the one in the monastery, he would like to, to know about them. What the heck? So go to the monastery, as he is very much eager to know about you. Then he, the narrator, said, when it's named a person for us, we were afraid. It's last, it should be the devil, a devil. Then we hardly went till we came to the monastery. Now imagine in the background a sound of noise, a sound of horror. Ooh, ooh, what the heck is that, man? I mean, things happened, brother. Things really happened. Man, 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 man. And they, when they arrived to the monastery, things got more complicated. I'm telling you, it got more complicated. When they arrived to the monastery, they found a well-built person. He's like me. Look, man. There was his hands tied to his neck. How this guy he live? Who tied him there? I want to know. Free Mr. Beast. Free Mr. Beast. He's, he's very well built. And person there is with his hand tied to his neck. And moving iron shackles between his two legs. Oh man, that will hurt. Never do put anything between the legs of somebody. I'm telling you, this is not nice. Put yourself in his shoes. 
and up the angles. We said we be upon you. Were we? Are we? Do you say that? Who are you? Look at the question. Serious. Tariq, are you there? Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a video. My coming video is about going to be Gog and Magog. And we will die laughing. And you will see that every single Muslim will leave Islam after he watch it, if he is he have little decency. What do you think, guys? Should we make the coming video about Gog and Magog? Let us vote, by the way. If you agree to do video about Gog and Magog, give me one. If you agree about doing a video about Gog and Magog, give me one. Nobody's voting. What's wrong with those people? Are they Arab? Arab don't vote. Or maybe take them time to hear my voice. So if you agree to make a video about Gog and Magog, give me one. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. Now, if you disagree to do a video about Gog and Magog, give me one too. <laughs> How in the world? This is very smart. So now if you disagree about doing a video about Gog and Magog, give me one. Okay, so now we did count the numbers of the ones. And as long as both of you agree to disagree, because you agree to do the video and disagree to the video, all of you give me one. Therefore, I will make the video and I will not make the video. Like 50 50. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of a voting system better than this? It's like the voting system in America, my friend. A guy is dead, he can vote, you know. Welcome to America, you know. An immigrant guy, his name is uh, Al Al Alejandro. He never been in the country. He don't have a paper. He don't have citizenship. He can vote too. I mean, that's amazing. America, America, brother, uh, uh, Democrat, Democrat, they are very smart. Oh, boy. Oh, it's already printed. <laughs> Look, look what uh, uh, Jovan, look what Jovan, he said. <laughs> That's a good one, man. Look, he said, it's already breathed determined. Man, that's the, what the heck? <laughs> He's right. The Muslim believe everything is a, it's a predestiny. So why, what vote for, you know? <laughs> Even when you vote, Allah, he wrote your vote. So Allah, he made Adam win. Sorry, uh, Biden win. He made uh, Trump lose. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Tarek, this is a fake love. Uh, okay, uh, Tarek, I'm going to do something just for you. Special trick. Guys, Mr. Tarek, he hurt my feeling. I don't like it when somebody hurt my feeling. Uh, to be honest with you. Tarek, it's time to face reality. This is a fake love. Read with me. And I challenge you. To describe this love for me. Brother, the Prophet of Allah, he ordered a Muslim woman to give her boobs so a growing man can suckle her. Aisha, she ordered her sisters not nobody can enter upon her unless they suckle their boobs. <laughs> this is a fake love, brother. <laughs> and not only that, the Prophet, when he ordered um, uh, 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 Sahla bin Suhail to suckle, the Prophet, he laughed until his teeth came out. Read with me, brother. The woman, she said to him, 
How can I suckle him? And he is a growing man. Allah Messenger smiled. He said, already I know he is a growing man, not oh, not young man, translation. And actually, in Arabic it says, he laughed until his teeth came out. Not smiled, as the translation says. Is that a fake laugh? A woman, she is asking a prophet, how in the world I am going to suckle a man? He is a growing man from my breast. What is the, the, the answer of your prophet? He laughed. So Tariq, was your prophet laughing at you Muslims? Was he laughing at Allah? Or he was laughing at your stupidity to believe in him. All of this is Sahih, as you see. So, what do you think? Was it a fake laugh? This is Aisha. She ordered her sisters. Not nobody can come upon her unless she's he suckled from her sisters read she ordered her sisters Umm Kalthum bin to Abi Bakr as Siddiq and the daughters of her brothers and here the false translation says to give milk in Arabic it says to do breastfeeding do you see it brother are you laughing right now Islam is a very decent religion women they wear burqa but they give their boobs Hmm. Uh, let us see. Let us talk about fake love. Look at your God, Prophet Muhammad. When he laughed, he kept laughing until her teeth come out of his mouth. Do you see it? Hmm? This is your prophet was laughing at you. Look at this. They are saying to him, and Muhammad agree, and he is happy, excited, that Allah he hold the sky in a finger. This is the height in Arabic. And the two earth in finger, by the way, there's two earth or one earth. And the whole creation upon one finger and he will say I am the king I am the king the narrator said I saw Allah messenger smiling until his front teeth became visible and then he recited the verse and they measure not the power of Allah so Muhammad he loved what he heard Allah will carry the earth in a finger, the heaven in a finger, and all the creature in a finger. And Tariq, can you tell me which finger you will be carried on? I hope it's not the middle finger. Are you laughing, Tariq? Do you know which finger Allah will put you on? Now don't tell me I'm laughing. This is serious. This is your prophet talking. This is Islam. 
Uh, anyway, did we have a good time, guys, today? By the way, there's a video uh, which, uh, you know, I told you I'm going to cut off. You remember? Uh, it's going to be... Uh, uh, it should be ready by now. You know, YouTube, it takes forever to recut a video or to make it ready. It says a processing. Can you believe it? The video is called Live Debate What Allah uh, made uh, is Made Of. Until now, this is for more than two days now. YouTube did not finish the processing. Look, let me show you. I thought um, but I will go now and I will make it available for you. Because we have many hours, have nothing to do with the topic. So I decided to cut it. Now it says it's processing. So let us hope by tomorrow. We hope we will make it available again. So you guys can download it and you can have it. And uh, when we decide to go and have calls, most of them they can call me when they see that I'm using Ecamm program. When I'm using this one, I will not take calls because I don't want to use Skype no more. Skype became too much headache. A million texts coming to me from the middle of nowhere, and there's nowhere to control this program, you know. Uh, but in this Ecamm, one person at a time, nobody can add me, nobody can bother me, nobody can even, even text me. Either I accept your call, and not only that, it make one ring, which is very good. So I will use it for taking calls. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, you know, I mean, Google is a huge uh, company. Imagine how many, how many million videos is loaded every day in their server. Actually, I don't know how 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 big those servers take to handle all of this. Do you know how much bandwidth it takes to do live broadcast? It's not easy. So all, I mean, there's, I don't know how many million right now as we speak, they are doing live broadcast. That is not easy. And we are glad actually to have their service. Even we don't like their customer service. But YouTube is the best when it's come to do what we are doing. Live broadcast, it's for free. And you can go up to eight hours you know in the broadcast like this i mean it's fantastic the sound is good the audio is good right before i used to go to a chat room in order to speak what i want to say now we have it recorded already you can download it you can share it i mean it's very way way better than before you guys are blessed with the technology you have today not long time ago all of this was not exist. Tariq is a biblical scholar. Uh, okay. But he is not a Quran scholar. Hey, Tariq, let me send you to the uh, the biblical school then. Here we go. I give you a hide. As long as you are a biblical scholar, you became a threat for me now. Your knowledge is so good, brother. Tariq is a biblical scholar, brother. Hey, Tariq, don't forget to make a book. Tell us how Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. So your God wake up in the morning, he says, oh, today the Jews are going to kill Jesus. So I'm going to make Jesus look like Jesus. So when the Jews, they came to Jesus, they found two Jesus. One of them is the real Jesus and the other one is not fake Jesus. Then the Jews said to himself, oh, which one is the real Jesus? Then the fake Jesus said to the Jews, I'm the real Jesus. They said to him, how you can prove that? He said, I will prove to you. I have the passcode by word for the computer. He said in the computer, it says the username Jesus. He put the password and he passed. And then the other real Jesus, they make him sit in the computer. And they said to him, put your password. The real Jesus, he put the wrong password. So the Jews, the Jews they captured the real Jesus as if they said he is a fake Jesus because he had the wrong passport. And the one who had the true passport, they believe in that he is Jesus. Because Allah gave a true passport for the false Jesus. And the real Jesus, he forgot the passport. And this is how the Jews, they were able to prove that the fake Jesus is Jesus. So they took the fake Jesus to the cross and they crucified the fake Jesus. And then all the disciples of Jesus, they thought this is Jesus because he looked like Jesus. He talked like Jesus. He act like Jesus. He have the eyes of Jesus. But the brother and sister, this was not Jesus. For Jesus is not Jesus and Allah is not Allah and Muhammad is not Muhammad. What's wrong with this clone religion? You're a bunch, bunch of a clone. Not a clown, a bunch of a clone. Allah, he clone, Yahel Kalbi, he make Jibreel like him. Shaitan, he clone Jibreel, and he come to Muhammad as Jibreel. 
Allah, he cloned Jesus. I mean, this religion is a religion of a cloning. Everybody is a cloning everybody. Are you sure that your God is not Chinese? Counterfeit? Me. No, this, I'm not talking like Zach and Ike now. Actually, nobody can talk like Zach and Ike, to be honest with you. Zach and Ike, he have the most straight, direct, powerful answers. So if you ask him about the cloning of Jesus, he have different, different response. He will say, Christian Prince, first of all, when Allah he cloned Jesus, Allah is the most perfect, and he declared it is perfecto. Uh, what hold on, perfecto? You speak Italian now? Christian Prince, let me tell you to do. The cloning of Allah is perfecto. And that's why when Allah he makes spaghetto, he the spaghetto is better than the spaghetti. Because the spaghetto of Allah is perfecto. So Allah he cloned someone look like Jesus and it was perfecto. Cloning? Exactly. Krish, what? Zakir? Did you say exactly? Excuse me. I mean, I mean perfecto. Exactly. Not exactly. Sorry. Uh, okay, Zakir. So it, it's exact law. Uh, so why, what is the purpose of Allah cloning someone look like Jesus? Is he trying to lie to us? Christian Prince, I am not saying Allah trying to lie to you. Allah is lying to you because this is the perfect plan too. So Allah, he can deceive you. And this is the response of Zach and Naik. Who can beat that yo? Can you beat that yo? It's a perfect plan to from Allah to, to you. This is religion. What the heck? Can't Allah save Jesus without making all this drama? Take the, this, just take the guy. Hey, Isa, come on, let us go. All of this for what? So he made the Christian think he was on the cross. He made the Jews think he was on the cross. Three billion Christian right now, they think Jesus was a cross and it was not perfecto. Crucifixion call. Because the stupid Muhammad Ko, he come to you with the story yo. Are you there, Tariko? Hmm? What the heck is that? Yo. Hmm. Anyway, I think we have a good time together. Don't forget to download my videos, share them with your friends. You can cut my videos pieces. Actually, I will try from now on to make a certain time to stop. Like maybe, let us say, I will make it maybe, let us say, 40 minutes. What do you think, guys? 40 minutes is good, right? It's not too short. It's not too long. Or maybe 30 minutes. And I will put a timer next to me. And then before I start, I will make a promise which I cannot break. I will swear by the Quran. That's it. You cannot break because, by the way, the Quran says, Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath. What the heck? You can lie and you can take false oath, brother? Yes, brother. Unbelievable. What kind of religion this religion is? You can take false oath. Lying to Allah. Yes, brother. 30 minutes good. Okay, let us do vote now. Serious, serious vote. If you think I should make 40 minutes, give me one. If you shink, if you think shink, what the heck with the shink? Allah is shin now. Allah is shink. I mean, I did not lose my teeth yet, and I'm saying shink. What will happen when I lose my teeth? I mean, can you be, uh, what do you shink? What kind of language is that? This is shinko language. I mean, this is, this is very horrible English now, shink. What? What's going on with the shinko? So if you shink, if you think I should go for 30 minutes, give me one. If you think I should go for 40 minutes, give me one. Now, if you are a Muslim and you think I should not come here at all, give me one too. I'm waiting. No, we said give me one. You don't give me 40 and 30. Just vote by the following. Put one. If you are a Muslim too, who you want me not to come here no more, give me one too. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. 
Okay, Leon. Okay, you gave me a lot of one. Do you know what happened now? Your keyboard is out of all the one you have. So from now on, if I say, give me one, you cannot give me one. I got you. <laughs> I got all the one you have. You know, remember, I just took Allah from your keyboard because Allah is one. Do you see what I was doing all this time? I was asking you to put one, 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 one. I took all your Allah. And now you have zero Allah in your keyboard. X Allah, that's it. There's no more one. From now on, I say to you, give me one. You cannot. You push one, you, 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 I will get two or maybe three. <laughs> Unbelievable. 1.5 hour at least. What about 1.5 day at least, man? Why are you being cheap? <laughs> All right. So we will see. We will make it shorter for sure. Because, you see, I, I don't know, in the last 48 hours, I don't know how many, how many hours I am online. You can calculate that. Or in the last week. But we will make it shorter so people, they can download it easy. And they can uh, share it easy too. However, even if the long video is long, you can download, you can recut, and you can make a, like a, as an example, I was speaking about the story of the beast. You can cut that part. Make it a video by itself. Now, our coming video is going to be about the people of Gog and Magog. And you will love it. You would love it. And if you are a Muslim, you will leave Islam. This is our topic, our coming one. I might go live again tonight. I might tomorrow. We will see. Until I see you again, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And if I was harsh on you, don't cry. Say goodbye. Don't come here again. You need to be a person who is able to handle it. That Santa Claus is real. And Allah is not. If you cannot handle the truth that Santa Claus is real and Allah is not real, don't come here. Takbir. It's a proven every day that your God is a fake God. Holy Potter God. And we will see you soon again. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. And Islam is false. And see you soon. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 